All right, in this tutorial, what I'm going to show is how to set up a Microsoft Word document for correct APA format. Uh, first thing that I've done then is I have uh, actually opened up a new Microsoft Word document. Next is uh, first thing you should do if you're formatting to APA format is go File, Page Setup, and um, make sure that the margins on the left and the right are both one inch. Okay. That being said, I have it set up that this computer is one inch margins. Next. Um, first thing I'll do then is work with the, the headers and footers because this is a real pain in the butt with the new APA format style guide. So here's what I'm going to show you. First click view and scroll down to header and footer and what will happen is, is your header and footer toolbar will be active in front of there. And then the next thing is um, your cursor will be live in the header. So I'm just creating a template here and actually I'm going to distribute this template um, but for the sake of illustration um, in APA format, the first header needs to say running head, capitalized, and then what will happen is then the title of the paper will actually be in caps lock. Now, this is kind of a pain in the butt because like, all right, you go back and you will have to actually type your paper caps lock into that text field. Next thing we need to do is insert a page number. Now the temptation is to click insert page number here, but what I found is more effective actually is to click here insert page numbers and then alignment to the right and we just click OK and you'll see that the page number is now listed there so that's the first header next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to close the header and footer toolbar and now my cursor is now active in the middle of the page so next thing is I'm going to go and click center and the next thing that I'm going to click then is format and we're going to uh, double space everything because in APA format everything is pretty much double spaced. So I click OK and I'm centered and I'm going to hit the enter key about three or four times. Um, I think that the, the actual alignment isn't always perfect um, but we live in a digital age and so it's not going to be that deep. Now um, just to reference um, the online writing lab at Purdue University because I always double check my own work while I'm doing this. Um, I'm opening up Firefox and going to to the online writing lab at Purdue University and I'm checking the APA format and style guide and here it shows like what the page should look like and what I'm saying is title of the paper is here and then title line number two so if your paper has got uh, enough content that the title has two lines you just put it there I'm double checking that the next thing is then your name should go here and when you actually um, so we'll put your first and last name and then the last part then is the name of the college university or whatever that you're that you're going to so name of the school you attend alright and and then I hit enter one time and my keys there. The next trick then is we're going to have to insert not a page break but what is called a section break and the way we do this is we click insert, break and this little dialog box will occur and instead of a page break we're going to select section break and we need a next page. We don't want it to be continuous we want it to always be just next page. Click OK. Now normally what happens on page two in an APA formatted paper is you would type out what is called the abstract so I'm just gonna type abstract and then I'm gonna hit enter once and then I'm gonna left align and I'm just typing in type your abstract here this will be a summary of what your paper is about and I'm also gonna say you don't indent this paragraph um, you won't actually write your abstract until after you finish your research paper. Um, that's a smart thing to do. Um, but this is how it should be formatted. And however many paragraphs or lines that it is, it should probably be about a half page to a page, unless it's a really, really long uh, paper. Uh, but even then, you know, it depends on what you got to say. But you don't indent this paragraph, this abstract. It should be fairly short. Now here's where APA is interesting and somewhat difficult. See now it shows the abstract page and that's how you would actually do the abstract page. Um, 
But now what happens next is that we need to actually follow um, the rest of the pages. So between page one and the, and the next page with the heading or the header, you'll notice a difference. Notice in, this, in the model it says running head, Purdue Online Writing Lab sample title page. But in the page two and basically everywhere onward, all it shows is the title of the essay cap lock. You're going to have to do that the whole way. Is all the, the header from page two onward is going to look exactly alike. So how do we get this header on page two and everyone that follows? How do we get them to look different than the first page? Well, notice when I clicked in the section header two for section two, and that's why we did a section break, that it shows this. What we're actually going to do is we're going to unclick link to previous, because right now it is linked to previous. We unclick that, and then now we're going to go ahead and delete that part, and I'm going to close my header and footer toolbar, and what we'll look at is on page one, or page two here, all it has is the title of the paper. If we go back to page one, the header is different because the header is different for section one. That's why we put in a section break. Good news is we won't have to mess with that any further for the rest of the essay. All right, now I have my cursor then back in the body on the next line after the abstract. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click insert, break, and this time it's just going to be a page break, which is what it's already set as. And I'm going to click OK. All right, so then page three onward, for the most part, is only going to be the body of the essay. So what I'm going to do is the first line should be centered, and that should actually just be the title of the paper. Then after that, we align left, and then I always format it ahead of time. I'm going to hit Format and Special, and we're just going to say First Line. What that tells... Um, your your computer is that every time you hit the enter key like you hit the return key at the end of a paragraph that means the first line for every new paragraph is going to be indented which is what you want so I click OK and then I'm going to say type your body of your essay here um, this will be many pages long and include all things correct etc and notice when I hit the enter key, it's already indented. Um, this would be paragraph two. I just typed in random text. When you actually type your paper, you're going to type it there. All right, the next thing then is I'm going to um, click format or insert page break because the last section of your APA formatted essay is going to then be um, your references page. So when I click page break, it takes that formatting with me. I'm going to actually delete that format. Oh, it deleted the thing. So I'm going to format paragraph. I'm going to remove the first line hanging. OK. Format. Oh, uh, no, we need to insert. Page break. And I'm going to center. And I'm going to type the word references. And then. Um, the next thing that you're going to do is with your sources you're going to have to give credit where credit is due when you use sources that's the biggest pain in the butt and this is where like you're going to have to be able to use reference list basic rules you should read this it will help you know how to do the authors and all this stuff um, articles and periodicals they give you how to do all that um, but yeah this is kind of an important thing I'm just going to copy and paste uh, this generic uh, reference entry into it match destination formatting and what you'll notice is that in the destination formatting if you look up here the arrow is here and here it's already added what is called a hanging indent what that means is the first line is the one that's all the way to the left and every line after the second second and onward is going to be indented that's the formatting that you want for your entire references page you would, when you get your references page together, which ought to be the first thing you work on when you look at a new source, you will list the references in alphabetical order. Um, but that being said, this is basically all of the parts of an APA formatted research paper. This is a template. It's a template that, I, that I've used for all of my masters and some of my undergraduate classes, as well as things that I've submitted for other purposes. Um, all I do is input the values and the things that I'm working on and all the research that I'm working on into the different areas of the paper. Um, 
when I post this video to YouTube too, I'm going to include a hyperlink to um, this this actual document, and you can download it and use it accordingly. And then that way you don't have to create everything yourself. So this is how you format your paper to APA format.